guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be going through my everyday makeup collection. We're gonna be swapping out some products, switching things up. March is here, I feel like I need a refresh, and I've asked you guys what kind of videos you'd be interested in seeing, and this was one of them, so we're gonna do it. For those of you who are new here to my channel, my name is Lauren. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out and chatting beauty with me today. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I hope you'll click that subscribe button before you go and come back and hang out with me again in the future. But yeah, so I did do a video similar to this a few months back, sharing how I organize all of the makeup on my vanity that I use every day. So you are gonna see some of that again in this video. I'll link the original one of the cards for you guys if you want to watch it. But primarily today we're going to be talking about like why I want to keep the products that I'm keeping on my vanity and what I want to trade out, what I feel like I need to switch up and kind of refresh in my everyday routine. So with all of that being said, let's head on over to my vanity. All right, so if you guys had seen my previous everyday makeup setup video, nothing's really changed in terms of my overall setup. I have the same organizer here. I have all my primers in this drawer, a powder. I keep my sponges and brushes. These are some new products that I just recently received that I want to use. So I want to try to incorporate them into this whole thing. So we may need to take some stuff out. Um, over here I have a storage of um, larger eyeshadow palettes, my lashes and stuff, contouring palettes and whatnot. And in here I have more lashes and some other smaller eyeshadow palettes, which I don't think I'm going to be changing any of that storage or anything in here today. We're primarily going to be focusing on this stuff, which is like my everyday makeup that I want to rotate out. So I pretty much have all of the concealers and foundations that I own in this right now. So let's just take everything out of here so I can see it all and see if there's anything that I kind of want to shift around. Okay, so I know this guy right here, the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation. I definitely want to keep this to use for every day because I have been wearing that quite a bit. And I know that I want to put this away, which is the new uh, Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. I actually really like this, but I think the color is just a little bit dark for me right now. So I wanna pull this back out in the summer. I don't think I need to be using this in the next like month or two. I think the same thing goes for this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Golden Beige. This is more of my summer color, so I'm gonna put this with the Maybelline one. And then these two new guys here, I just recently got from Palm, so I'm gonna be using them. So I wanna make sure that those have a place. Now, this is something else new. This is a Sweat Pretty setting spray. I do normally keep my setting sprays down here, um, but maybe what I'll do is put this guy right here next to my powder just to remind myself to use it. Now, here we have the Skin Perfect HD Foundation from Koki Cosmetics. I really like this a lot. I think I wanna keep this to use every day. I also have been really enjoying, as you can see, this is like pretty much used up, my IT Cosmetics CC Cream, so I wanna keep this available. Now, these these guys here are the Milani Conceal and Perfect, and this is something I'm trying to finish up this shade 01 Creamy Vanilla. It's part of my project pan, but this shade by itself is a little light, so I usually mix it with warm beige, which is a little bit more of a summer color for me. So um, I think I want to try to make room for these guys because I want to try to keep using them. Now, I also had wanted to pan this Fiona Styles Matte Finish Foundation Concentrate because this is a discontinued product and I wanted to just kind of use it up. I have no idea how much is left in this bottle. It still feels really heavy and I feel like I've been using a lot of other things that I've been wanting to try over this. So I don't know how I feel about this. I know I wanted to try to finish it. I'm kind of like on the fence. We're gonna kind of like put this in the middle. I'm gonna see how much room I have for it. And then I have this new Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. I do really like this guy a lot. Um, it's maybe just a tad dark for me, not entirely. I could potentially put this away to also use in the summer when I'm a little bit darker. So maybe since I've had a chance to try this and talk about it, I can put it aside for at least a couple months. All right, so let me at least see how much space this takes up first. 
All right, that's pretty good actually. I was able to get the Milani foundations and all those foundations I know I wanna keep using in here. Now, this guy here um, is also a foundation. This is the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation and I don't find myself reaching for this that often. I don't know, I feel like this just kind of sits on top of my skin and I don't really know if I love it. It was like I wanted to like it because the idea of a stick foundation seemed so convenient but I don't know if the formula is my favorite. I may end up wanting to declutter this at some point actually. So I think I'm gonna put this aside as well. And then these are all of my concealers and I do actually use all of these and I want to make sure that I continue to use them. So I think I should be able to fit these guys right back where they came from. All right, so I pulled out the rest of the products that were back here in the organizer, which is like some brow products, eye primers, and some mascaras. So I know I'm definitely gonna be using this NYX HD eyeshadow base. This is like my favorite eye primer and I use it on the regular. So this is going right back where it came from. Same thing with my Too Faced glitter glue. Whenever I'm doing any kind of a glittery look, especially with a powder eyeshadow, I like to use this. And then these are two brow pencils that I'm trying to use up, the uh, Winky Lux Unibrow Pencil, and this is my Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Pencil. I use these on the regular, so those are gonna just go right back there with the eye primers. I also have this guy here. This is the Cella Ivory Lace Highlighter Pencil, and I really love this for carving out my brows. It's a really beautiful pencil, so I'm gonna put that in with the brow pencils as well. Now, I took this guy out thinking that I was going to use it, and I still haven't even taken the plastic back packaging off of this. This is the uh, L'Oreal Magic Lumi Highlighter. I actually have gone through a full one of these in the past. It's kind of like a highlighting concealer. It's sort of similar to the YSL Touche Eclat pen, uh, but I just haven't really felt like using this lately. And you know, it's probably been a while since I actually purchased this. To be honest, I probably should just give it to somebody else because if I haven't been excited to use it in months, I probably won't reach for it anytime soon. And then these are the three mascaras that I have open and have been using. Um, this month's your big one is probably the oldest. Um, this has definitely been on my dresser for over three months now, so I probably should think about replacing this. It actually, you know, has been performing fine. Um, it doesn't seem too clumpy and too like weird like the formula has changed, so I don't know. There's definitely still a bit of product left in there. I'm gonna have to think about this one. Actually, what I definitely think I need to switch out is this Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara, which I love this formula, and I just opened this up at the beginning of January, and it's only the beginning of March now, but I feel like this has already changed. Like, it's gotten kind of weirdly clumpy, and um, it's starting to flake on me, so I think I just need to switch this guy out. And then this guy here is the Catrice Rocateur Extreme Volume Mascara. This I just opened at the beginning of January, so this hasn't hit the three month mark yet, so I think this is fine to keep in my everyday stash. Now, lip product wise, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna need to switch any of this out because all of this is relatively new to me and relatively new to this space. I have three of the Pixi Matte Luster lipsticks here. Let me swatch these for you guys so you can see what they look like. So these are the three shades. Um, on the left is Peach Blossom, and then Rose Naturals in the middle, and then Bitten Rose is on the right. These are just like a really juicy, sort of sheer-ish kind of formula. They say matte luster, but they're not really flat and matte. Like they have a nice like sheen to them. Um, and they're pigmented, but not so like super opaque. So they kind of just make your lips look really nice and healthy. They're very easy to wear. So I enjoy this formula a lot and I think it's nice for spring and summer. And then this guy is relatively new to me. I bought this to wear uh, spring and summer. It was on sale at Ulta. It's one of their weekly wows. It's one of the uh, Tarte Color Splash lipsticks in the shade Daiquiri. I swatched that one for you guys there. It's like a really vibrant sort of fuchsia-y coral pink. So I think this I'm excited to start wearing. Then I also got one of these Color Riche uh, lipsticks from L'Oreal in the shade Burnished Blush. And let me show you guys what this looks like. So I swatched this one here. As you can see, it's like a juicy sort of pink lip tint. These remind me of the YSL uh, Rouge Volupte Shine lipsticks in terms of their texture. I'm curious to see if this is actually a dupe for any of those particular shades. Um, 
But yeah, this is a really, again, nice, lightweight, shiny, moisturizing formula. Really fun for spring. Um, I have this lipstick from Glow Skin Beauty in the shade It Girl. This one is, I think, like a pink. Yeah, like a pretty rosy pink. Again, kind of a theme for spring, summer uh, vibes over here. I also love this as a magnetic cap. So satisfying. Then I've got my three ColourPop Luxe lipsticks, which I have just recently shared with you guys. Um, so if you didn't see my currently testing video, you can see them all there. And then I have three of these Lorac lipsticks. These are the uh, Alter Ego Satin Finish lipsticks. So I have Cat Lady, I have CEO, and I have uh, Snow Bunnies, which are all kind of like neutral, nudie, pink shades, good for like everyday wear. So let's get into these drawers. The first one here is more base products, primers, some samples, powders. So I have my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Powder here, which I definitely will be keeping here. That's like my favorite powder foundation. Um, I have the Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder, and then this NYX HD Finishing Powder I honestly have not reached for, like, at all. Not in a really long time, so I think I want to, like, take this out. I know I definitely want to keep this in here. Um, this is the Cover FX Mattifying Setting Powder. Um, I also have the full size of the Perfect Setting Powder, which I do always keep on the desktop here. I think I will keep this little sample guide. Then I also have this setting powder from Stellar. This is the Cosmic Face Setting Powder, I believe, in the shade Glow 02, so I wanna keep that in here. Um, I haven't had a chance to try this yet. It's the Becca First Light Priming Filter, so I wanted to give that a try. I also have been testing out this Perlis Tinted Moist BB Cream, so I can keep this in here. This is the uh, Milk Makeup Matte Blur Stick that I've been kind of testing out. I actually have reached for this Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. I don't even think I really need this in here right now. I'm trying to actually use up these couple of um, Benefit Professional samples. I also have a sample of the Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination Foundation and these Cover FX Custom Infusion Drops. So I feel like this is all fine stuff for me to continue to use. I'll double check my um, bins in a minute when we're gonna see what we're replacing some stuff with to see if there's anything else that I wanted to try, but I feel like this is a pretty good situation. Then we have the blush bronzer and highlight drawer. So this is definitely a place where I want to be uh, switching some stuff out and using some new things. I am like obsessed with these Lorac blushes. I think they are beautiful. I've been using them a lot lately, but I think I might want to switch them out for something else just so I can give them a try. Now I just recently got this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal um, in that Sephora Favorites self kit I was talking about earlier and it is so stunning. I'm like obsessed. I'm kind of obsessed with this. So I do think I definitely want to keep this in here. Now this on the other hand is um, Prosecco Pop from Becca, which I also am kind of entirely obsessed with. This is more of a golden shade. Um, and while I absolutely love this, I probably would like to switch this out for another highlighter just to use something else for a little while. I have this tiny sample of the Cover Effects Custom Enhancer Drops, which I honestly like never <laughs> remember to reach for. I don't know how I feel about keeping that in here. Um, I have this Tarte Blush sample in the shade Feisty, which I have also worn quite a bit that I may want to retire. Then I have the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer here, which I'm trying to pan. And I feel like I'm getting close. You can kind of see the like rings there of the bottom of the pan. So I think I'm just gonna keep this in here purely so I can finally hit pan on it. I just wanna try to use this guy up. Then I have the Ciate Glow 2 Illuminating Blush. This is so beautiful. I absolutely love this. Um, and I have also been using this a lot lately. So I actually, again, I may switch this out for something else just to get myself to use another blush product, but I think this is stunning. Then there is this little Becca duo of Flower Child and Champagne Pop that again, this is old and it's limited edition, which makes me not want to use it up, but I know makeup doesn't last forever, so I should. So I may again just keep this in here to encourage myself to use it because it's an older product. 
And that was also my same kind of thought process with this Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer and the Seraphine Bota Botanicals Guava Butter. These are kind of older cream products that I really just need to use up. So I probably will keep these. And then last over here is some assorted eye and brow products. I've got this little sample of the Grande Primer. I don't know how old that is. Um, I have an Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. I have a couple of these Butter London Glaze and Eye Glosses. This is a new um, L'Oreal Infallible Gel Lacquer Liner that I just got. Um, I have my Stila Glitter and Glow eyeshadows here. Um, I have the Makeup Revolution Aqua Seal and this NYX Eyebrow Gel. To be honest, I don't really reach for this very often anymore. It's really, really good, but I just haven't found myself wanting like super Instagrammy eyebrows. This is also, again, a product I think I use more in the summer when I'm sweaty because this stuff like stays put like spackle. So maybe I will give myself a little bit more room in this drawer by taking that out. I also don't use the Aqua Seal on a daily basis. I kind of use it more when I'm in the mood to do something creative. This is really nice to mix with pigments to make like your own like liquid eyeliner. I don't know, we'll see about that. Um, and then I have the new Cover FX Shimmer Reel. I got in BoxyCharm. I've got my Urban Decay um, Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in uh, Midnight Cowboy. This Glow Minerals Shadow Primer, which I honestly haven't been reaching for because I've been using the next one. I don't know how I feel about that. I do use this though, the Wander Beauty, um, what the heck is this called? It's the Exquisite Eyeshadow, or Exquisite Liquid Eyeshadow in Champagne. This is nice to like just throw all over your lid when you wanna just do your makeup quick and on the go. And then I have two little brow palettes here that I do use on the regular. So now I've got like a bit of a mess going on here on my desk. So we're gonna take a little trip over to my storage little um, organizer and maybe pick out some new products to replace some of this stuff with. All right, so this is my little organizer that I keep my makeup in in my loft. So let's start with blushes. So I have drugstore blushes here and then I have high-end blushes here. So what do I want to buy? It's honestly been so long since I've used this Physicians Formula Mineral Blush and it's such a pretty pink shade. So this I think may be a contender. We're gonna just put this right here. I also got this in an Ipsy bag. This is the Dirty Little Secret Blush in the shade Kitty Pink. I haven't really used this much and I feel like I would like to. It's a nice like peachy pink shade. I'm also considering this guy. This is um, a Becca blush. It is one of their luminous flush blushes in the shade Snapdragon. This is such a vibrant, beautiful pink shade and it's really fun for spring, summer. And I, I got this a little while ago, but I haven't really used it very much. So I kind of feel like this might be a fun addition. Now, how about highlighters? So I know I'm trading in my Becca highlighter here, but what do I want to use in its place? I've got so many beautiful things. I've got two Ofra highlighters. I have this Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder. The Physicians Formula Butter Highlighters. There's another one over here. Mega Glow Highlighting Powder from Wet n Wild. I have this Makeup Geek Highlighter. There's an Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder that's like hiding way back there. Where do I want to begin? I do really love this Milani highlighter. I think it's so, so stunning. And it's been a hot minute since I've used this. So maybe I will put you in zip pile. Now, what about eye products? Is there anything else in here that I'd like to add to my drawer of fun? Uh, I'm thinking about maybe this Dose of Colors Ideal Duo. I love this mint shade. It's really fun for spring and summer. So that's something I might want to try to make room for. Also, I just recently got this Sephora um, eyeshadow single in the shade Lucky Penny. I don't even think this is available anymore, but I would like to use it because it's glittery and fun. So maybe also this. And then I think I'm gonna put back my um, eye primer here, this brow gel product. Yes, I think that should be good. Oh, and my aqua seal, you're gonna go back in here too. Now, what about a mascara? These are all mascaras that are brand new that I haven't used yet. Do I want to 
add a new one into the rotation. Should we get super bougie? I have not tried this Dior Dior Show mascara. It's probably stupid expensive. Kind of curious to see if it's actually any good. So maybe we'll uh, give this guy a whirl. All right. Perfection, I think we are good to go here. So I actually moved my um, Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer and the uh, Seraphine Botanicals Guava Butter back here because there wasn't enough room in the drawer. Put the um, Dior Mascara here and then those last couple of concealers. All the rest of my concealer and foundation is here. We have got the um, Lancome Mascara and the Catrice Mascara back here. And then my eye primers and brow products back there. We kept this kind of pretty much the same. Everything is nice and organized. Then this is what my blush and highlighter drawer is looking like. So I managed to somehow make all of this fit, swapped out the new Becca blush and the D Dirty Little Secrets blush, Physicians Formula blush, uh, Milani highlighter. So I think we're pretty good there. And then here is the eye drawer. So I just made a little room for these guys. So I'll be more inclined to reach for them. Now my brow gel fits in here nicely. So I think this is looking pretty good. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today and for helping me get reorganized, get re-excited about my makeup stash. If you guys want me to continue to do updates like this, maybe once a season, if I need to like refresh my collection, let me know in the comments or give this video a thumbs up. And again, if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, I hope you click that button and come back for more. In the meantime, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.